The year is 2014. Hip-hop is more popular than it's ever been before, but at what cost? Rap doesn't seem to resemble how it sounded in the golden age. Even the up-and-coming New York rappers are more influenced by Atlanta and Houston than the traditional East Coast boom-bap style. There are a few young artists trying to keep that classic sound alive, but it's not enough. That is, until an old friend arrives. On June 3rd, 2014, an EP surfaced from a new artist by the name of Yorol Drug. Drug meaning friend in Ukrainian. This tape sounded like something directly from the golden age of hip-hop. This MC was never before heard, but sounded like a seasoned veteran on the mic. This couldn't be some new young rapper, something was far too familiar about his sound. In fact, his voice sort of sounds a little bit like Nas. That's right, the hip-hop blogsphere collectively agreed that this must be an alter ego of our old friend Nas. But no, this wasn't Nas. This wasn't a veteran MC who we've known for years. This was just a 25-year-old Jewish kid from Ukraine. Yo, what up, my Drew? You listen to hip-hop? Yeah. Okay, you gonna take this, man. Listen to that. Hit play on that. It's like about to change, son. Huh? Your old Drug and his family immigrated from Ukraine to New York when he was just four years old. He fell in love with hip-hop at an early age, looking up to New York legends like Big L and Prodigy. He started battle rapping at the age of 14, but didn't start releasing music until about a decade later. Seeing his childhood friend ASAP Yams making moves in the industry motivated Drug to start making some moves of his own. He released two albums and three EPs over the next couple years, slowly cementing himself as one of the underground's most skilled punchline rappers since Big L. He didn't often get too personal with his storytelling, he just bombarded us with an endless array of quotables and anecdotes of New York life. Got off the train at the stop near the brewery to drink some hops, go home and watch Louie. Hollered at the sink, even though her grill was top suey. Sometimes you miss your turn and gotta pop a Yui. No more uglies, I'm only piping high bitches. How hot? <laughs> piping high bitches. His music comes with a sense of familiarity that instantly sets him apart from other wordsmiths of the underground. His lyrics are jam packed with references to everything from old movies to random D list celebrities adding to the connection between Droog and the listener. Listening to a Droog album feels like you're chatting it up with an old friend that you haven't seen in a while. The initial buzz of his career started to diminish, but he was just getting started. In 2017, he met the god Fahim, who helped him step into the next evolution of his career. Fahim and Makami were in the midst of a prolific run when Droog crossed their path. The three of them feel like kindred spirits, old souls who have some of the most creative minds in hip-hop. Everything from their rap styles to the way they viewed the music industry seemed to be perfectly aligned. Droog released three projects in 2019, each with their own distinct feel, two of which were executive produced by Makami himself. It wasn't even close as definitely his best work until this point of his career. The production is dark and dusty, and Droog is sharper than he ever has been lyrically. This album feels like an antique, a product from a time that's outside of hip-hop. Struggling is cool, but when I write a bar, I can already see my dream car and pool in the backyard. What the fuck is a carpool? Not for me or my spouse. When you heard me say I need a lift, I'm at the elevator in my house. Transportation is an album dedicated to New York, and more specifically, the New York public transportation system. It's on this project that Droog solidifies himself as a New York legend. He's rapping as a man of the people, carrying the torch for some of the New York MCs who came before him. She was on the train looking bad as hell, low mademoiselle. I got off mad enough to yell. Down and smack up, cutting and spray something. Cause she gave me the eye and I ain't say nothing. No, I probably won't catch her in that hood again. And now my mind's haunted by what could have been. Could have had a nice life for a kid together. Might eat at me forever. I'm crying. And on jewelry, Droog begins to open up and embrace his Jewish heritage, helping him become a much more personal and truthful songwriter. It's around this time that Droog took his full step into becoming one of the greatest MCs in the world. In the tail end of 2020, he released Dump Yard, Crew Toy Edition, which is his most focused and personal project yet. On this album, he really digs deep into his heritage and upbringing. On his first few projects, he would mention his Ukrainian and Jewish backgrounds in passing, but he really embraces that part of himself here, giving us an incredible album from one of the most unique points of view in hip-hop. 
New toy on the loudspeaker mouth, she's a crew toy. Russian version of a rude boy. Tell it clear, being up, sipping the mukoi. Shrot stock, I'm not gonna count the koi, who doi. Come on, not a toy of nyanye, galo boy. A piat would tell it is ravnyanye, the shock luhoi. At the new drug, at the drug goi. The kakoi to pestle, it's two poys, I've seen pustoi. This is an album that could only be made by your old Drew, which gives it infinite replay value. Because every time you listen, it feels like you begin to know Droog a little better. And not only is this a great Droog album, it's also the latest and one of the best in the seemingly never-ending Dump God series. Droog and the Yad Fahim continue to show off their great chemistry with the Wolf of Wall Street and the Yad Fahim, each of which show off different facets of their skill sets and are two of the best records of the year so far. And now that brings us to your old Droog's latest and possibly best album yet, Time. On this album, Droog sounds so confident. The production is interesting but understated, and Droog takes his time to unravel some of the most extraordinary verses of his career. The theme of this album is time, and Droog weaves this throughout these tracks perfectly. On the magic watch, Droog spins the narrative of a time travel device, giving us one of the great sci-fi stories in modern hip-hop. It almost feels like listening to an old man tell a ghost story that's so detailed that you really start to believe it happened. Dude paid him the ten dollars, took the watch from the man and he smiled, put it on. Adjust and abandon the dial Nothing happened so he thought I'd just stand for a while Then when he looked down he had the hands of a child In his old family living room rugged his feet Familiar voice calling him to the kitchen to eat When he heard it almost burst into tears Was the voice of his grandmother Who he hadn't seen in years Please listen to my Jew tape rivals the magic watch as possibly Droog's best story track. Only this time he tells a non-fiction tale. He recounts his entire career from begging people to listen to his demos to linking up with the dump gods on this incredible run that he's on now. Droog sounds so confident on this album. He sounds like he's one of the best in the world and he knows it. He's done more in the first 8 years of his career than most rappers have done with decades of work. When he first came into the game people were calling him a Nas knockoff, but now he's one of the most respected MCs in the world. He's been our friend for so long, but he's still so young and has so much work ahead of him in the future. He supposedly has albums with Count Bass D, Idan, The God Fahim, and Makami all still to come out in the future, so he's not showing any signs of stopping. I'm happy hip-hop has an old friend like Droog. Thank you so much for watching everybody, I really like this video so I hope that you guys enjoy it too. If you could leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel that would be greatly appreciated. Let me know if there's another artist that you want to see me talk about or do a video on in the future. Thanks for watching.